Hi folks, welcome to the first part of four videos, how to pray intensely, intense prayer. This series is somewhat uh, inspired by my daughter who when she prays, she goes like this. And it's intense. We want to learn how to pray intensely. The first thing we need to know is that prayer is intense. Prayer is not relaxing. It is not intended to be relaxing. Prayer is supposed to be intense because guess what? You have the devil, the world, and your own human flesh and nature warring against you that do not want you to pray. So when you do pray rightly, there will be tension. And that is the intensity of true prayer. So I want you to move in four different directions. We got up, down, right, and left. And the ha 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 doesn't matter. But what these words are gonna be, well, kind of give you a, a tool, a compass, if you will, four directions that you can go in your prayers to go through that tension, to enjoy it, and to put it at God's feet. So first, the first thing you wanna do is get into that tension. You can't get into that tension unless you get up there, hop above it in your prayers. So the first part of this teaching today is that you would hop above the complacency of your life. If you want to pray, you have to lift up your soul to God. Lift up your hearts to him. Leave behind the pettiness and the complacency of this sinful existence and this condition and remember who God is. Psalm 103 starts out like this. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. You hear all that? You are certainly entering into some tension there, right? I have iniquity. I have diseases. I'm in the pit. But God forgives. God heals. God brings me up. Now, how do you feel about praying these things? Do you feel like you have iniquity? Do you feel like you're in the pit? Do you feel like you have diseases? It doesn't matter. Start saying these words, hop above what you feel, live in these words, and you will experience the great tension of God's salvation, God pulling you out of the muck and the mire, God renewing your strength like the eagles because you are weak before him. Hop above your life and come up to him. These words allow you to know that God is truly God. We so often forget that God is God. We forget that he is there. Those first words say, do not forget his benefits. Let's look at Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You can't read God's mind, but he can read yours. And that's what this psalm is about. God is reading your mind all the time. Ooh, that can kind of make us uncomfortable, but that's okay. That's good. We're entering into the discomfort of the tension of God. God is so close to you that he knows what words you're going to say before they're on the back of your tongue. And he hems you in on all sides. So lift up your soul to him. Hop above the the petty world of cause and effect of time and space that you're living in. And with these words, ascend to God, hop above what you are experiencing right now and go to be with the God who is really God in ways that you cannot comprehend. God wants you to come to him because you belong to him and he will take you. The world that you're living in with all its strivings with all its wars with all its cultures at war with one another is not your home you don't belong here and it will not accept you but god will accept you so psalm 27 says my father and my mother have forsaken me but the lord will take me in i mean how much more intimate uh, a relationship is severed by those words that your father and your mother, though they reject you, God will take you in. So get out of this plane and hop above, hop to where God is, where he will take you and he wants to be with you. This is why it says he forgives your iniquity. He cleanses you from all your, your, your diseases. He pulls you out of the pit. Hop, hop above, you know what? I'm gonna use the letter E to uh, modify this one more time. Hop above, hope above. Let's begin to hope 
And if you hope, you will experience some of that tension and your prayers will become intense as you dwell in it. Have a good day.